Hi, I'm Joe Barnes, Orange Bikes Factory Rider, and I'm here to show you some tips on how to set up and get started with your e-bike. First of all, we're going to start up the bike. Now you do this by keeping the weight off the pedals, otherwise the crank sensor won't calibrate right and you'll get an error code. So weight off the pedals, bike stationary, and hold the button down. Once the screen comes on, choose your setting, start in a sensible light gear, and away you go. So the most efficient way to use the motor on your e-bike is to work off cadence. Set your little computer up to read cadence so you get a feel for it. It's not the amount of power you put in, it's how fast you spin your legs. You want to be spinning no lower than 80 RPM. Somewhere up to 100 is pretty nice. The higher the spin, the more the motor gives you. And then once you get to the peak output of the motor, the legs just top it up from there. But make sure you're spinning correctly. What cadence are you on? As you can see, he's not putting any effort in and he's flying up the hill. That's how you do it. Oh. So you don't get caught out grinding them big gears. You're coming up to the steep hill, downshift. And then glide up the hill, keeping the leg speed high. Saves you getting caught out with a power shift mid-climb as well. So always change gear early. Keep the leg speed high. Let's talk about the three settings. You got boost, trail, and eco. Boost, as it suggests, is perfect for boosting about. Uses a bit more battery, but it gets you flying. But it can be a bit more than you need for a certain trail. And that's where trail comes in. If you're on boost and it's sort of you pedal and it shoots you forward and the turns are quite close together, you maybe just don't need it. And trail would just be fit the terrain slightly better. Also, if you're going up a loose climb, boost can start spinning the back wheel too much, where trail, you can get more grip and climb easier. Eco, that just lasts you all day. Just keep cruising, no bother. So that's your three settings, all really useful and worth using them all. When you're washing your e-bike, refrain from using the jet wash on the motor and electronics. A bucket of soapy water will do just fine. No need to force water into the clever bits. Obviously waterproof, but high powered jet wash won't do anyone any favors. Here we go. Lovely and clean. Another important thing when you're washing your e-bike is to pay extra attention to the drivetrain. It will wear out quicker than a normal bike just from the extra power the motor gives you but keeping it sparkling will stay on top of this swap a degreaser on there next up is to loop the chain but the motor has a built-in free hub so turning the pedals back doesn't spin the chain. So there's two ways of doing this. Either have it in a bike stand, so you can pedal forwards, or flip the bike and do it upside down. To charge the battery, we just need to remove it from the frame. On the down tube, right by the release mechanism, Orange have got a little sticker here with a QR code. So if you get a QR code reading app on your phone, It'll take you straight to the Orange Bikes website with a little how-to video on how to remove your battery. But here's how you do it anyway. Take a 4mm Allen key, put it into the little hole just above where the battery sits, give it a little wiggle to find the Allen key head, and then give it a quarter turn clockwise. And the battery will pop out. Then you just use your finger, push the little release lever down, and out it comes. And that is the battery out of the frame. Couple of tips there. It is turning the Allen key clockwise, which may be the opposite to undoing a thread, but that's just the way the release mechanism works. And also, if you have the bike upright, then gravity will just let the battery drop out 
ready for you to push that little lever there. So uh, easier than, than uh, doing it with the bike upside down. And finally, just don't force that, that mechanism. It's hidden within the frame and it's, it's not a thread, so it's just a little lever. So just an easy quarter turn and the battery will pop out, no bother. And uh, whap it on charge, ready for the next ride. Taking the battery out also lets you air the battery compartment and is a good opportunity to give the terminals inside a little clean up before reinstalling the battery. The bike has the capability to easily swap the battery, so if you're passing your car and want a bit of fresh juice, no bother. You can even uh, have a little charging setup rigged up if you want, so you can charge on the move. Fresh eat. If you want to carry a spare battery on your back, doubles the range for a big day in the hills. Woofty. Yeah, boy. Yo. There's a lot of talk about chipping your e-bike to remove that 15 mile an hour speed limit on the motor. This does however void its warranty, but for me you just don't need to do this. The bike isn't there for getting a higher top speed on a cycle path somewhere, it's for exploring more rugged terrain, getting out, getting that extra lap in on the trail you love, and just making the most of that extra climbing power. So my advice there is to stick with the bike as it was intended, you'll find that speed more than comfy enough, and then when you're going up the hill, when you really need it, the motor's there for you. So, have fun. Thanks for watching. If you need any more help, just contact your local orange dealer where you got the bike from and they'll have all the advice you need. All the best.